it's considered to be one of the best five-star luxury hotels on the Strip. Join me tonight as I stay at the Wynn Las Vegas, check out the amazing rooms, the pool and the casino and so much more. The Tower Suites where I'm staying tonight has its own entrance and uh, check-in, which I've already done, but I just wanted to show you how I walked in here because you've got villas either side. I don't fully understand what villas are. I think they're different to what we think in England, but all these quick up, there's loads of them that just swimming around. <laughs> right, let's go up to my room. So this is the reception just for the Tower Suites where I've already checked in, it's quite nice. Although I didn't get offered with any complimentary jinks. It's also a little bar and restaurant there. So for extra security you've got to scan your key. Thank you. Old school elevators, look, they're actually those little dials move as they go up. Because this is such a tall building as well, you can feel the air pressure. These lifts go very fast. But you can see that it's going up now, look. Ooh, feel the breeze. So I'm on floor 22. Bearing in mind, there's 59 floors. Nice little lamps, some music in here. Is that marble on the floor? I'm in room number 2212. Interesting artwork on the wall. It doesn't really follow with the rest of the hotel, does it? I think I'm right at the end. And yeah, right at the end. You've seen the size of these doors? Ridiculous. All on. Wow, the lights have come on <laughs> and the window blinds have opened. How many times I say wow in this video, but as I walk in, I've got one, two, three, I think there's about five different rooms to explore in this very suite just for me. So I've got my first room, which is a toilet. Pretty simple, but nice. There's even some towels up there. The lamps, the theme with the lamps continue in this hotel. Now this is uh, another wet bar and look at this stuff. But bearing in mind, if you pick this up, you have no longer than 30 seconds to put it back or you will be charged. I am way too scared to touch this. We've got some uh, Fiji water at the back, some cookies. I mean, you're just better off going down to the 7-Eleven. Very nice glasses. This must, yeah, must be the mini bar just down here. And this is censored. I'd like to, I don't want to know how much it is actually. I won't be going in there. Can you imagine if you had some, uh, some other people in the room that for a joke, when you weren't looking, just pick this up. Or you had kids in the room as well. Ah, oh, nightmare. I've got a sink, ice bucket. What's in these? Oh, just under the sink stuff. Another fridge. All right, so it's a fridge to put my own stuff if I want. And coming into the living room, this is very swish, very nice. Somewhere for me to sit. Complimentary water, thank you very much. I'll take air freshener. Nice, I'll take that home and put that in the loo. Little phone over here, a little notepad. I've also got my own Amazon Echo. Do you know the thing is, when you go to these really lovely expensive hotels, you wanna get your money's worth, but you just think to yourself, I'm never gonna use all these items in here. Like uh, this is uh, an iPad, which I can use, and it's got a little welcome note personally to me, which is quite nice. In room dining, there's an alarm, the weather forecast. All right, there you go, I can change all the channels. Must mention the view. I mean, this is insane. If you didn't know, um, the Wynn has 
a golf course out the back. Yes, it's not a strip view, but to be honest, I don't care because it is an amazing view with the mountains in the distance and down there to the pool, which we'll check out in the morning. And the new Las Vegas Sphere, look at that. I've got the perfect view for it. So tonight when it gets dark, that's gonna look amazing. Huge centerpiece, never had that before. Look, there's a mirror at the bottom. And this is all for the, uh, the TV. Very nice, nice comfy couch. This coffee table is amazing because it's leather. Some interesting stones, a random box, and a book all about butterflies. Where have you been all my life? So I can open the shears or the drapes, that's the curtains and the, I guess what we would call a net curtain. But if I want, I can turn everything off all at once by hitting all off. The lights go down low. The curtains close. Okay, I changed my mind, all back on. Right, let's go and check out the bedroom, which is through here. I need to turn the light on again. All on, please. Can open the drapes as well. Look at that, a four poster bed. A nice little leather ottoman. Huge TV. What the heck is that? I was gonna say it's not stone hanging on the wall. Nice little chaise lounge, but the bed, of course, is impressive. I booked this room because not only the bed, but just wait until you see the bathroom. I mean, it is totally insane. I don't know why, but I love this carpet. Really nice. The size of these drawers, yikes. Soft clothes, yes. Another phone in here, huge lamp, interesting photo. And I also noticed on top of the bed, you've got all this, uh, all this material. A couple of reading lights. This is all leather. But the bed, signature win on it. Taking my shoes off to do the bed test. Oh, that's nice. If you've been watching the channel, you know I have a big phobia of bed bugs because I've had a few issues with them in the past. And one thing I'm gonna say is every time you come into a new hotel room is you check the mattress. First of all, put your luggage somewhere high up and always check the mattress. Now, normally I get freaked out about checking the mattress, but as I pulled this back, bear in mind, this is a very comfy bed. This mattress, <laughs> has got so many folds in it and underneath, and it's got box springs. There is no way I'm gonna be able to check all of that. It could take me hours. By the bedside, I've got another iPad that I can use. I've got a new message. Another reading light above the bed. I can control it using that. So yeah, the bedroom, absolutely gorgeous with that huge TV but it's what lies behind these doors. I love how they've left them like that. Rather than just shut them, they've kind of left them open, just so almost like, like, you, like you shouldn't be looking in. Come in. Wow. I mean, where do I begin? <laughs> where do I begin? Okay, well, first of all, the bath, which is, um, uh, an aqua jet bath with bubbles, very nice. Next to it, of course, is the shower. Oh, five-star hotel. That door is ridiculously tight. So someone can have a shower and they can look at the other person in the bath. Shampoo, conditioner, body wash, and also a scrub. Very nice. That's very disappointing. Look at the size of the shower head. But I'm sure that, uh, hang on, let's have a look. Oh, that's all right. Would have expected something a little bit bigger, but I guess you don't need it. By the way, if you're asking, you could probably get about four people in there. Two sinks. No, 
No, one sink. Was there a sink here? Oh, for makeup maybe. I don't know, is there some, is there supposed to be something there? There's USB charging in the bathroom. Oh, I like the way that goes in like that. If you're vain like me, then you can spend a lot of time looking at yourself in there. Oh, more goodies, what have we got? Polish, a shaver, something buff, shower cap, hairspray, random. Ooh, mouthwash, shaving cream, body lotion, toothbrush, necessities. I mean, honestly, I won't be able to take all this stuff back with me. Can't take liquids, can I? Oh, actually I can, because I could put them in the hold. Is that a clock? Yeah, that is a clock. Flannels, the sink, nicely polished. Nothing on this shelf, but the trusty hairdryer is just there. There's also, and I feel really bad because I'm walking with my shoes on, I should take them off really, on these bath mats that look very nice and uh, comfy for when I get out of the shower later. So there's another sink over here. Hmm. I've got more stuff. The same that was over there. <laughs> Towels. There is a toilet here. Funky little lamp. Are they silk? Thought they were silk then. Very nice robes. What's that night light on and off? Lights, night light. Quite sure what that does. I've noticed there's another door. I guess this is the closet. Nice clean mirror. Walk-in wardrobe. Gabby would love this. Oh, posh hangers, the soft ones. These always remind me of like someone's left them behind if they're getting married. We've got an iron in here. I think there's more blankets. Oh, we've got slippers. I nearly missed them. Something's put my luggage on. A heavy duty. I can't put much in there. Is this, oh, so this is for, um, for your jewelry, I guess, because it's not very big, is it? I was gonna say, I can't put my laptop in there. We've got another safe in here then. Is that the only safe? I also missed when I walked in this little centerpiece where in the middle of the night, if it's dark, you're probably gonna walk into that. Is that a shell? But look at all the marble. As you may or may not know, I've stayed in the Burj Al Arab in Dubai, and that is really nice. This is just as good and half the price. I will tell you the price at the end. This also does include resort fees. Well, what do you think of the room? There is only one problem I had, and that was I had to wait about half an hour to get my luggage up to the room, even though I said, oh, I'll just go and get it. And they were like, no, 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 we'll go and get it. Half an hour later, I had to wait for my luggage in the room. And also, um, I was hoping to check in quite early, and they said they would text me when check-in was open. They didn't. I waited until about, you know, five o'clock and said, is the room ready? And they said, oh, yeah. And I was like, oh, thanks for sending that text five-star service. Now the hotel is huge. It has got so much in here. It's got shows, it's got a swimming pool, it's got restaurants, it's got the casino. And also what's crazy about this hotel is the shopping. Come and have a look. Before we head into the shopping center part of the hotel, I love this waterfall. And on a hot day, it's really nice and cool to stand here. But there's, there's one there, look, and there's another one there in the shadow of the actual hotel. It looks amazing. Wow, look at the ceiling. It looks absolutely amazing. The lampshades feature a lot in this hotel. And what's crazy is that all these shops are really high end. I wonder if it's like Dubai where you, they will ask you for your bank details. One thing that blows my mind about Vegas hotels is the carpet. They carpet everywhere and the casino and the bedrooms. And you think to yourself, wow. And the carpets, I mean, you think about the footfall that comes through here and they're in really good condition. These are real curtains, by the way. They're not just cheap, thin ones. These are heavy duty, thick ones, but just look how massive they are. This is just for the shopping center. Crazy. Is that silk up there? That's amazing. Seriously, if you're spending this amount of money on a room, how on earth can you afford to go in there? One of the big centerpieces of the hotel is all the flowers. I will show you from the other entrance in a little bit, but this, uh, little mini carousel 
is actually made out of all real flowers. I mean, this is all real flowers. It's hard to believe, just look, there are roses in there. The horses, that's just crazy. Do they spray something on them to keep them fresh or do they have to keep replacing them or what? Let's just walk through these uh, trees. Lots of people have their photos taken here. This is beautiful, look at this. An inside forest with hanging flowers, amazing. I love how the, the bars are all hidden in luxury. And get this, ready for this? These are curved escalators. I know, right? Curved escalators. Very chic, this bar. However, the prices for drinks in here are crazy. There's a funky show apparently that happens out here. I'll try and check this out later, but you have to wait to be seated by a hostess that will come and check you in to come and sit out here. Nice place to get a cocktail. There's not many places in Vegas where you can sit outside in a gorgeous restaurant. Look at that. Let's have a look at the cocktail menu what are the price is here so we've got whiskey around about 16 to 25 dollars we've got other drinks they sell absinthe in here oh, yikes these are like umbrellas aren't they they're like moving up and down still can't get over these escalators though sounds stupid but i didn't even know that they did escalators that go round like this feels so weird even the casino area looks really nice and that's actually quite a feat to say in Vegas. The casino areas look normally gorgeous and colourful and big and, and loud but the casino here looks really nice. I'll show you that in a moment. Just double checking. Yeah, these are all real flowers. What's weird is they are all real flowers but do you know the thing that's missing? Is that you can't, I can't seem to smell them. It's a bit weird. One thing about the casino is that it has a lot of lampshades. If you wanted to know how I got my room reasonably priced here, it's because it's not currently the weekend, so the rates are cheaper when you pay during the week rather than the weekend, like it's Thursday at the moment. So I've got my room about 10% cheaper than I, or 20% cheaper than I would do at the weekend. See, in the UK, you're not allowed to film in casinos. Over here in Vegas, they don't overly mind. Well, I haven't been told to stop yet, but I'm not focusing in on any games or any roulette tables. Although I've just walked past security. And the lampshades, you know, they're all like really good quality little tassels hanging down. So there's more shops down there. So if Baccarat is your game, you can go and play in some of these little side rooms. And uh, they've also got a high limit room, which I'm going to check out for the sake of the video. In here is the high limit room, which means you spend a lot more to play the machines, but the, the jackpots are a lot bigger. What's that, a million? 127,000, yeah. It's a shame because you're seeing less and less of these machines now and more of the big, bright and colorful ones. But some of these cost to play five thousand dollars for one spin and what can you win i mean you're taking a bet but if you at least do a couple of bets on this you might be lucky and you could win so the max you can win is 2.5 million well there's a thousand pound a spin here jackpot is a million crazy no it's not it's 2.5 million by the way, if you're wondering why my voice is a little bit strange, I've had to put a little bit of an effect on it because they have so much music playing in this hotel. No expense has been spared, you know. Nothing is cheap and plastic here at the Wynn. More designer shops down here. That's like a really small shop. Van Cleef's. And when you're walking around the hotel, you can get lost, but then you can find these little areas where you didn't even know they existed. Like, I didn't even know this was here, where you can go for uh, some dinner and entertainment and drinks. 
There's even a wedding chapel just up here, and I think I can see a bride. I'm gonna not go too close because I'm gonna don't want to interrupt their wedding, but they have a wedding chapel inside of the wind as well. So this is the wedding chapel. Gabby, if you're watching this, maybe we could come and renew our vows here. Very Vegas-esque, isn't it? Wow, that is what you call a corridor. Yikes. So this is where the ballroom is, but the attention to detail, I mean, this is like real marble. They are real. Oh, they're not even stuck down, blimey. Vegas does not do things small. I don't know if the camera does this justice, but this place is huge. You can barely see right to the end. All these are the, uh, the ballrooms. So they use these for conventions. I wonder if any of them are open. Oh my God, it just keeps going. I've never seen it. Like, I've never seen a hotel this big. It's crazy. I mean, there are even bigger hotels in Vegas, to be fair. No, I bet we won't be able to get in any of these rooms. Oh, just as I was. What was that? Oh my God. Now this isn't probably for weddings, but can you imagine getting married in here? You'd have to have quite a few people to fill this up. Hi, there's nobody in here. Good morning. Well, a great night's sleep in that bed and I decided to wake up and have a bath. Why not? You're in this fancy hotel. Why not treat myself to a bubble bath? The thing is, is that what I didn't realise is that if you fill the bath up too much and then you put the bubbles on, it kind of goes all over the floor. They should have a line on the bath where they say, don't fill it up higher than this because otherwise when you put the bubbles on, the water's going to go everywhere. I can't get used to how heavy these doors are so heavy and chunky let's go and get some breakfast there are of course loads of options and places to go for breakfast but there's a, uh, a little restaurant just outside of um, this elevator so I thought I would um, go to it and check it out by the way when you go in these lifts as they go down they go down so fast you can hear the wind rushing and your ears are popping they go down so fast we're really light-headed Woo! So this is the place I said I should go for breakfast. Oh yeah, can I get a table for one please? What they do here as well is offer complimentary coffee. So you don't have to pay for this. So you can come down from about six in the morning and get your coffee. Might as well get it for free. So, breakfast. I actually asked to come and sit in this room because it's so much nicer right by the pool. You get the morning sunshine coming in. I think I might go for pancakes this morning. $24. But I've been told that they do do a healthy option as well. They do these like amazing like bowls of oats and fruit and yogurt and all that kind of stuff. The breakfast never comes with coffee so at least I'm saving myself some coin. Shame I can't sit outside. I'm surprised they're not offering that this morning. This is what you call a lot of pancakes with a side of streaky bacon, a side of cream, and of course, whipped butter. I don't know if I'm going to be able to eat all three of those. If you've never had pancakes with bacon, you're missing out. The whole sweet and savoury thing is really good. Pancakes are very salty. I didn't really look at the menu properly. They taste kind of not like I thought they would do. I don't think I like them. I think they were lemon pancakes but I've never had pancakes so salty in my life. Well, the hotel's big and the pool is even bigger. I mean, it's not just one pool. There's many pools. 
you can get lost in here. There's cabanas, it's crazy, it's gonna have a look around. I'll just show you one of these cabanas. I mean, they're like little hotel rooms in themselves. Not quite sure how much they cost, but they all come with a, a TV, <laughs> a big TV. I think they come with a fridge, stocked, facial mist as well. Nice little sofa in there. Yeah, very nice. Why would you come to the pool but need a TV, really? Almost like little food stalls. How cool is that? Obviously the hotel size has got to be a lot of sunbeds. Still in the same hotel, round of me. Oh look, nice big bar. So this pool is um, a bit more of a party pool, almost like a, uh, a day club, but not quite. They've got these big sun lounges. They've even got the lounges in the pool and the chairs. Look at that. You can even gamble outside. In the old days, they used to have some of these in the actual pool. How cool is that though? So if you feel the edge to gamble whilst you're at the pool, you can. What's nice is you get complimentary water. You don't have to pay for that when you're at the pool. These sunbeds are very comfy. I can't lay here like this with my t-shirt on for much longer. I'm sweating. By the way, you're probably thinking, for Vegas, this is a very quiet pool. And I've come down especially early when it's just open at 9 a.m. It is a Friday. This will probably get, well, this will get very busy later. But uh, for the sake of filming, I thought it'd be better to come down when it's quiet. But actually, it's a really lovely time to come to the pool. It's not too hot, not too crowded, and you can have the whole thing to yourself, pretty much. So the win Las Vegas, how much did it cost me? I've got my bill here. So the room cost me $935, uh, followed by the room tax, which was $125, followed by the resort fee charge, which was $45, and then a resort fee tax for $6. There were some other incidentals on there. I never really understand these bills. So the total came to £1,111. Would I stay at the win again? Definitely, I booked myself into a suite this time. I don't think I'll always be able to afford that, but if you ever do come and stay at the Wynn, if you go and stay at the Encore instead, all of those rooms apparently are suites. Well, that's what I've heard. Do let me know in the comments. Now, as casinos go in Vegas, they're all themed very differently. Some are themed better than others, but that one is actually really nice. It's really luxury. I love the lamps. Let's talk about the room. Looking out last night over the Las Vegas Sphere was something else. Those visuals on that are absolutely amazing. I don't know if you've ever seen the one with the pumpkin. Looks crazy. The room was just so big. The bathroom was totally amazing. The bed was amazing. You know, the whole resort was amazing. It's just very expensive. It is said to be one of the most luxurious hotels on the Strip, and I actually have to agree. If you wanna see more Las Vegas videos, do click the videos here or here. Give the video a thumbs up. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you next time.